Welcome to the Allstate Bontrager Insurance Agency pregame show. I'm standing here next to Coach Eric Moore. And, Coach, uh, so many things go through my mind when you talk about a game of this significance tonight. One word is anticipation uh, from from the, the final buzzer, if you will, of uh, last year's Ben Davis game. The, 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 the hashtag one more has been what we've been living on, and it's all about this game, getting that one more. Um, and the anticipation of tonight's got to be phenomenal. How are the kids and coaches handling up to this point? Well, the one word that sets in my mind is Lucas Oil. If you win, you go to Lucas Oil Stadium and play for state championship. Uh, what happened last year is last year. What happened four years previous to that, what happened ten years previous to that is, is then. It's all history. Uh, and I understand that that's, that's how you motivate uh, through off the off season. And it was our, our, our theme, our logo for the year was hashtag one more game because it seems like, you know, we've got here five times and, <clears throat> you know, we, we got to get over that hump to get back to the state. Uh, it's not like we've never been there, though, you know, so we know how to get there. We know the map. We know the route. We just got to take it now. Uh, the, the team has been, uh, obviously, they're young kids. They're excited. They're ready to play. Um, but, you know, it, it's still high school football played with 17, 18, 19-year-old kids, and anything can happen. Nice, breezy, wonderful weather we're having today. We hope that that really intensifies for tonight, and, uh, you know, we, we go on with our game plan. Been a lot of big games held in the stadium over the years. I think of the semi-state game against some, uh, uh, Ben Davis, uh, Cathedral coming in here for the first time. A lot of big games, but tonight could be the largest crowd we've ever experienced here at Ray Gilman Stadium. A lot of excitement. Well, we can't do anything about the crowd. I'm, we're hoping people will come out and watch us, I, and uh, that, that's great for the kids. Uh, our whole focus is just trying to win the next game, and this is the next game. It is a huge game, and like you said, you know, not to be rude, this is a big game, and we've had great, great games here in the past. Uh, and I don't reflect on them today. I just think about, you know, trying to beat Avon right now and not thinking about really how big the game is. And you think about that stuff after you win or after you lose. Uh, but the kids are uh, ready to play, and we all know the importance of this game. And it's obvious. It's everyone's goal, you know, when you start the season to try to be that those last two teams, you know. The good thing about this is we've we've uh, followed the map all the way through and we're playing the last game that we can possibly play at Skillman Stadium on the Trojan Field, you know, in our red jerseys at home. So uh, I, I got to compliment our kids for getting all the way back to here again. Uh, if you look down the road of history, not all the teams do that. We seem to be the ones that does that. We don't seem to ever get as much credit for that, but we do seem to be the one that gets back. Uh, and it seems like the state goes through Center Grove. So uh, let's hope that our kids are ready. Uh, I know they're ready. Let's hope they can perform and play well, and, and just good luck to everybody. Avon comes in here tonight with a highly touted quarterback. Good opportunity that he will uh, could be named Mr. Football. He's going to Michigan, uh, 6'5", just a big kid, and can sling it just about anywhere. Yeah, it's like uh, t playing Tom Brady. <laughs> he's uh, very talented, and uh, you know he's had a great year. He's had a great career, and, 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 and good for him. Uh, we, you know, we play great players in the Met Conference. Maybe not as good a quarterback as this we've ever seen. I, I can maybe vouch for that. He may be the best. But, like I try to tell our kids, man, this game, win or lose, about us. It's about how we play. One guy ain't going to beat us. He can throw it. They still got to catch it. We can defend it. We can, we can sack. We still got to run the ball and tackle and block and do all the things we do. That's just one dimension of the game. And, yes, they're very good at that. A few differences. Avon has a tendency to play a lot more players both ways. We don't see that a lot in the MIC. Um, when you look at their schedule, it doesn't seem or appear that they've played a lot of teams that just want to play smash, smash it down your throat football, run the ball a lot. A lot of teams they play set up in the shotgun, uh, try to pass it around a lot more than what they're going to be seeing from us tonight, and I think that's a big advantage for us. Well, we know we just don't have the talented uh, athletes out there to throw the ball around to, I and mean, that's, that's that's the problem. Uh, and so we we've chosen here to to play run run base football and we'll, we'll throw from our run base and do, you know everybody knows what we do we're not going to change who we are they're not going to change who they are uh, they've played a good schedule we've played an excellent schedule um, tonight's going to be about whose team may be the healthiest you talk about two-way players I totally agree with that that's a great thing to do if you can do it they were able to save some kids in, the, in their schedule and then you know put more kids on the field tonight you know one-way type things that's what they do you know we can't do that we don't train to do that. We don't practice to do that. We're gonna, we're gonna. Our defensive guys are gonna play defense. Our offensive guys are gonna play offense, and we're gonna run and, and tackle and hope that we can come up on the end, up on the uh, top end. We wish you all the luck. A uh, lot of excitement, like I said at the beginning of the interview. Uh, so many. 
parents from past teams and players from past teams. One, it's on a aircraft carrier all across the other side of our world. He's he's looking in and, and, and wishing us luck. I mean, there's so many people that stepped up. It really is a tribute to you and building the program that you have. And uh, everybody's out here ready to uh, to root on the Trojans tonight. Yeah, being Veterans Day this week, uh, Brian Deedle, who is on the USS Theodore Roosevelt, uh, did write the team a letter, which I'll read to them before the game. And we'll see how that goes. Coach, uh, good luck. Hashtag one more. Let's go get one tonight. Yeah, I hope everybody can come come early because the seats will be limited. We don't have a lot of seats at the Skillman Stadium. Hopefully that can change in the in the future. But uh, it should be a great high school football uh, game. <clears throat> Two great programs in Avon and Center Grove. Nothing better for high school football than Avon and Center Grove will be playing on Friday night for the, for the semi-state championship and chance to go to uh, – Lucas Oil, you come and cheer us on well tonight and we win. The next time you're in watching football, it'll be a lot warmer. So go Trojans.